Hopkinson High School and welcome back to HHS Today. This is the first episode with the second semester class. Welcome back! I'm Maddie Strickland. And I'm Caroline Lehman and today we have some fantastic stuff to show you. Our first segment today is Minute with the Principal with our very own Mr. Bishop. He will be updating us on what's new in semester two. Hello HHS, I'm excited to be back with another Minute with the Principal. Uh, I hope everyone is off to a great start here second semester and I just want to talk about a few things that are happening here at the high school in the second half of the year. First and foremost, uh, we are excited to be offering a late bus now. Um, a lot of students have been coming to us wanting to have the opportunity to stay after school but didn't have rides home and so we were able to get a very generous grant from Senator Spilker's office to provide a late bus Tuesday, Wednesdays and Thursdays after school leaving the bus loop at 4 p.m. Uh, you do not need a bus pass in order to take the late bus. We also have been working with uh, the student council on a number of different things coming up for second semester. Uh, obviously we have our 9th and 10th grade cotillion on March 15th but also in the works is an 11th and 12th grade dance coming up potentially in the second half of the year so more info will be coming so stay tuned. We have our spring performance coming up in early March as well as our art show uh, in, in, sometime in the middle of March. So uh, a lot of fun things coming up. Uh, you'll also notice when you come back from vacation we have updated the photos in the atrium uh, and something I'm excited about uh, we have some discussions starting preliminarily about looking at our master schedule and trying to uh, create a schedule here at the high school that meets the needs of all of our students and staff. And so that's going to be work that we're going to start to be doing towards the end of this year and probably much of next year as well, uh, which I am looking forward to. So again, lots to look forward to. We have a lot of great stuff going on here at HHS. Again, I hope second semester is off to a great start and I will see you soon. Did you know that HHS has not had a late bus since 1995? You have no idea if that's true or not. Yeah, well, it sounded cool. Coming up next, we have a club video by Nora, who recently visited Diversity Club. Thank you, Diversity Club, for this wonderful interview. What is the goal of your club? What do you do here? Well, the goals have been evolving a little bit the last couple of years, um, but generally, uh, the, um, the goal is to spread awareness and appreciate the cultural aspects um, of the world around us, such as music, media, and food. Uh, we believe in having an understanding of different cultures uh, will help in having a greater understanding about the people we interact with every day and help us develop deeper connections and relationships in the future. Um, we hope to embrace the word and to show people that it's really more about um, finding uh, similarities and, and points of, of contact as well as differences. When and where does this club meet? We usually meet uh, Monday afternoons here in uh, C205 and uh, right after school. Although sometimes we'll do special events during the school day, but that's the, that's the usual time and place. What was your motivation to join this club? Um, I joined this club because I think it's really important to learn about different cultures and to learn about different people in our community and to connect with different people in that way. What is your favorite part about the club? My favorite part of this club is definitely the Hillers Internationals morning. So we have that every Hiller day and we show an international show and we have a bunch of international food available in the library. Would you suggest this club to other students? Most definitely. Um, I think it's very important for the student body to um, get more close with each other and understand each other more. Um, and this is a very, very good way to do that. Um, and I feel like it's um, very important for everyone to learn more outside of their scope of fishing. Next Hiller Day, March 8th, I'm coming hungry. Next up, we have a candy bar review provided to us by our very own candy bar specialist. Hi everyone, so you may have heard about Kourtney Kardashian's perfect method on eating a Kit Kat bar. Today we're testing the method on a different candy bar, the Reese's. So, so far we have unwrapped the candy bar and now the first step is to eat the edge of it. We have eaten the sides and the next step is to remove the bottom and top chocolate layers. And there you have it. And now you get to eat the best part, the, the middle. middle. I hope you enjoyed this segment. Definitely not as good as Kourtney Kardashian's tutorial on how to eat a Kit Kat bar. But if you liked it, you guys should send HHS TV videos of you trying this out with different candy bars. Wow, that looks interesting. Next time I have a Reese's cup, I'll have to try to eat it that way. I'm sure Kourtney would be proud. Well, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to visit our website, hhs.today.com 
to watch previous episodes and bloopers. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you next time. Pillar deck. Oh, sorry. I, I thought it was like. Okay. <laughs> I didn't read the script yet. Okay. Oh, 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 do, oh, oh okay. Do I read my line? Should, should we start it all over? Wow. All <laughs> next up. Wait, can I just read it slowly? Do I just do it again? Next time I have a Reese's Pieces Buttercup. I am so sorry. I it's actually. Okay. I eat fruit. I don't, don't eat worry. candy. Okay.